Hello viewers, I am Dr. Devesh Gupta, Senior Professor and Head, Department of Radiological Physics, Dr. SN Medical College, Jodhpur, Rajasthan. Today, we will be going to see the paper, Linear Accelerator in Cancer Treatment. Linear Accelerator is used in teletherapy for the treatment of cancer patient. This is an advanced treatment modality. There is a lot of change since beginning has happened in linear accelerator. In earlier days, it was simple photon beam coming out from linear accelerator and later on changes has been made. Now, Electron beam is also coming along with photons of different energies also. We can modify the intensity, it is called IMRT, intensity modulated radiotherapy. We can um, fuse the two images that is called image guided radiotherapy. 3D technique is also used along with this. SRT, SST treatment is also can be used by using linear accelerator. Along with this teletherapy, cobalt 60 machine is also used where cobalt 60 radioactive source is being used as a source of radiation which emit 1.17 MeV and 1.33 MeV photons. Average energy is 1.25 MeV. But there are certain limitations of cobalt machine. Intensity modulation is not possible in that case. In linear accelerator, we can use dynamic wedges while this cannot be used in cobalt machine. That is why nowadays use of linear accelerator is going in increased direction. There are many linear accelerator established in our country. Today's talk, we have these following topics. First, the basic introduction, introduction principle of linear accelerator components of linear accelerator, beam forming components of linear accelerator. Summary. In introduction part, there are three type of modalities for cancer patient, surgery, radiotherapy and chemotherapy. Depending upon the type of tumor, size of tumor, site of tumor, the modality is decided. This is observed in many cases where all the three modalities are used. There are few tumors which are very sensitive to radio radiations. Those type of tumors are treated with radiotherapy. There are few tumors which are sensitive to chemotherapy. Chemotherapy has now lot of change during the years. Those tumors who are, which are sensitive to chemotherapy are treated with chemotherapy also. There are few tumors which can be resected easily. In those cases, surgery are preferred. Few cases are there where the tumors are sensitive to radiations and chemotherapy, but size of the tumor is very big. In that cases, Debulking is done, means tumor is surgically cut and size of the tumor is reduced and then chemotherapy and radiotherapy treatment 
is used to treat the cancer case. Type of radiotherapy. There are two type of radiotherapy. One is external beam radiotherapy and second is brachytherapy. External beam radiotherapy is the case where the source of radiation is away from the body and the surrounding tumors, surrounding tissues are also getting lot of radiations in this technique. The second is brachytherapy where the tumor is, uh, the location of the tumor is such that we can approach to the tumor very close and applicators are inserted inside the body or few tumors where uh, those who are very close to the surface. The mold are used in that case and cases are treated with the help of brachytherapy. Many tumors where both external and uh, external beam radiotherapy and brachytherapy are used and nowadays good results are obtained by using external and brachytherapy. Type of external beam radiation therapy, cobalt teletherapy and linear accelerator. Cobalt teletherapy is the machine for teletherapy where cobalt 60 source is used. The size of the source is approximately 2 cm and the source is shielded in a big shield in the machine that is called head of the machine. The size of the head is very big and since it is a radioactive source, it emits continuously radiations and we have to make the head bigger to shield this source. Due to its big size, there is a penumbra. Penumbra is the uh, word used for the radiations given to the uh, outside region of the interest. This is the region where we do not want to deliver dose, but due to finite size of the source, the dose is delivered in that area and that is the drawback of cobalt machine. Second uh, teletherapy machine is linear accelerator, which is nothing but a high energy X-ray machine where the energy of the photons which are coming out from the linear accelerator is of the range of uh, MeV and size of the source is also comparatively small. Linear accelerator works in two modes. One is the photon beam emission, second is electron emission. This shows the picture of linear accelerator with a head and a big arm. This linear accelerator may be abbreviated as LINEC, a teletherapy device delivering radiation beam to oncologic di disease with radiation source placed far away and outside from the patient. We can see in the LINEC that arm is big and head size is small. The region behind it there is no radioactive source inside. That is why the head side is comparatively small. Now, principle of uh, LINEC uses high frequency electromagnetic waves to accelerate charged particles such as electrons to high energy through a linear tube. Here, a picture is shown where initially electron is injected and with the help of electromagnetic wave, it is synchronized with the wave and its energy increases to the desired value. Working principle of linear accelerator, a power supply provides direct current power to modulator 
that includes pulse forming network, high voltage pulses from modulator are delivered to magnetron or cholesterol and simultaneously to electron gun. <coughs> cholesterol and uh, magnetron are the devices which produces megawatt that is injected into accelerator tube via waveguide. These are the uh, devices which increases the energy and is in input into the waveguide. At a proper instant, electrons produced by an electron gun are pulse injected into accelerator guide with an initial energy of about 50 keV. With the help of electron gun, electrons are generated having energy 50 kilo electron volt. They are injected into the uh, accelerator guide. There, the electromagnetic radiations with increasing energy, it is synchronized, electrons are synchronized with it and energy is increased. Electrons are acted upon by electromagnetic field of microwaves and are accelerated by force of electric field and are carried along megawatt. High energy electron energies from exit window of accelerator guide is form of pencil beam about 3 mm in diameter. These electrons after this waveguide having very high energy but the diameter of the electron beam is very small, only 3 mm. These electrons are made to strike the target to produce X-rays or strike the scattering foil to use electrons to treat superficial tumors. As we know that when high energy electrons strike to a target of high jet material, it produces photons. In X-ray machine, normal X-ray machine of the diagnostic uh, range X-ray machine, where energy is in KV, the production of photons or we can say the energy converted into photons is only 1% maximum and rest 99% of the energy is converted into heat while in case of linear accelerator where electrons having energy in mega electron volt when they strike to a target generally tungsten target or the lead target they produce photons of high energy but more than 99% of energy is converted into photons. Very few amount is converted into heat. <coughs> but since it is procedure is same, physics behind production of photon is same, we have all type of energies from lower energy to higher energy photons. We do not have a monoenergetic photons. We have a polyenergetic photons in the output. This shows the typical diagram, line diagram of linear accelerator, which shows gantry, gantry stand, modulator, patient couch, and control panel. Gantry uh, moves in a circular direction. It has a isocenter. Head can also be rotated little bit. Patient is placed or uh, lie down on a table and direction of the beam is changed by moving the gantry. Gantry stand supports the gantry. Gantry moves on its bearing along horizontal axis. Modulator. Modulator supplies high voltage, high current and short 
and short duration pulses to different component of linear accelerator placed either outside or inside treatment room depending on LINAC configuration. Patient treatment table which has a uh, many number of movements, it supports the patient during treatment. It is controlled by a hand control pendant provided with various type of movement, vertical up and down, longitudinal in and out, lateral left and right, rotational movement above about its axis and control console. It is operation center for Linux. It is placed outside the treatment room and is used to control the treatment unit and the treatment. Control console is the heart of the machine with the use of various controls on the panel. We can utilize those panels, utilize those switches and the operation of the Linux is controlled from control room. The major component of Linux are injection system, electron gun, microwave power source or RF power source, waveguide, auxiliary system, beam transport system and treatment head. These are the active part of the linear accelerator where the electron is coming out from the electron gun injected to the waveguide with uh, microwave power and energy is increased of the electron, they finally fall on the target and produce photons. Injection system or electron gun, this is a source of electron. Electrons produced by thermoionic emission and are accelerated towards anode from where they drift into accelerating tube. This is a simple structure of uh, electron gum shown in the picture. Target em uh, thermoionic emission is produced by giving some voltage and current and electrons are coming out. It has been accelerated by the anode and approximately 50 kilo electron volt energy electrons are generated from this source of electron or the electron gun, they are injected into accelerating microwave power source or RF power source, source of high energy microwave energy. With the help of this, electrons energy is increased. This is of two type, magnetron, it is a RF oscillator used in lower energy linear accelerator and the second source is cholesterol. It is a RF amplifier used in high energy linear accelerator when the energy is more than 6 MeV. Waveguide. Waveguides are evacuated or gas filled metallic structure of rectangular or circular cross section used for transmission of microwaves. Waveguide is again of two type, RF power transmission waveguide, transmit the RF power from RF power source, magnetron or cholesterol to accelerating waveguide. Accelerating waveguide, it is a tube in which electron are accelerated. Now this RF power, uh, electron is synchronized with this power and injected into waveguide. The energy of the electron is increased with this wave uh, in the waveguide due to cholesterol or magnetron and achieved its final energy to produce photons or to come out as a electron beam from accelerator. Auxiliary system, it consists of several components that do not take part directly in electrons acceleration but make the acceleration possible. 
has following component a vacuum pumping system producing a vacuum in the accelerating waveguide and the RF generator. This is very important because if vacuum is not there then electron will interact with the medium and produce secondary electrons which we do not want. A water cooling system need for cooling accelerating guide target and RF generator. This cooling system because a lot of energy is generated in this process we have to keep the system cool an optional air pressure system for pneumatic movement of target and other beam shaping components because the movement of the target and the other component system needs to move hence a pneumatic system is required in this auxiliary system now here in the figure we can see the electron source filament from where electrons are coming out by thermoionic emission and on the other hand on the right hand side of this figure we can see the electron are accelerated they are moving along the waveguide and finally with the help of bending ma uh, magnet these electron beam are bent towards the target when we want to use photons we use target these electron strike to the target and produces photons when we want pure electrons of high energy these electrons this target is removed from the path and direct electron beam is used beam transport system has following components beam bending system for high energy linac where energy of the photons is more than or equivalent to 6 mv accelerating waveguide is mounted perpendicular to the beam axis requiring the electron beam to be bent for clinical use three type of bending magnet systems are there 90 degree bending non achromatic 270 degree bending and 112.5 degree bending system magnets are used beam transport system this figure shows the waveguide beam steering and focusing coils used to constrain or focus the electron beam close to the central axis of waveguide treatment head consists of several components that influence the production shaping localizing and monitoring of clinical beam has following components x-ray target a transmission type of target of high atomic number material usually tungsten or copper uh, tungsten laminated is used copper tungsten laminated is used photon beams are generated by bremsstrahlung lung from a high energy electrons beam is striking this target when high energy electrons strike this target photons are generated in forward direction treatment head this contains flattening filter also bremsstrahlung generated when high energy electron strike the target we know that bremsstrahlung radiation contains various energies from lower to high energy we get peak at a most probable energy in the output of the linac but for the treatment purpose we want a uniform dose on a particular surface or we can call it on a patient surface at different depth but the output contains a peak in the center we want to make it flatten that is why flattening filter is used which absorbs the most probable energies and makes the beam flatten this flattening filter is introduced in the treatment head 
treatment head also contains a scattering foil. When we want to use photons, flattening filter is used. But if we want electrons, then a, strat a scattering foil is used. This is scattering foils widen the narrow pencil electron beam. These are thin foils of high atomic number material. Not only widens the electron beam, but also gives flatter beam across the treatment field. Treatment head, primary and secondary collimators. This collimates the radiation field. Primary collimator limits the field to circular shape and is located immediately beyond the X-ray target. Secondary collimators consist of two pair of lead or tungsten blocks or we can call it jaws which provides rectangular or square field shaping. Most of the treatment when cancer patients are treated, the marking is done on the surface of the patient. It is either circle, it is either rectangular or square field. So we have to make this field from circular to square field, and that is why secondary collimator are used in the treatment head. It also contains field defining light which illuminates the treatment field on the patients. And we have to make sure that radiation field and this optical light coincide with each other. It projects the light beam as if emitting from the X-ray focal spot. It is identical to X-ray beam, which makes the treatment more accurate. We are able to see uh, visually where X-rays are falling on the surface. Transmission ionizing chamber. The aim of uh, putting this chamber at, at uh, delivering a precise and uniform radiation dose and serves following purpose. Monitoring and control of dose delivery whether in X-ray or electron beam mode. Dose rate monitoring, beam uniformity and symmetry and flattening monitoring, automatic treatment, termination control. If any of the above should lie outside acceptable tolerances. This is a very important part of the LINEC, we have to regularly check it, monitor it, whether this ionization chambers are working or not. The dose delivered to the patient is very strictly monitored by this ionizing chamber. And if the system has any problem, machine will shut down automatically. Treatment head also contains multi-leaf collimators, which is a very advanced feature over cobalt machine. Unlike secondary collimators, MLCs have up to 60 pair of leaves that can move independently and provide irregular field shaping. And with the help of this, we can Mo we can modify the intensity of the output of the LINEC. This deliver intensity modulated radiation treatment. This images shows how the electrons are coming out from the LINEC and falling on the flattening filter or on the scattering filter and falling on the patient surface. The each and every part is self-defining. Now in the summary, I will show you what is the advantage of LINEC over Cobalt-60. LINEC output is very high as compared to Cobalt-60. So dose rate is high. This has advantage over Cobalt-60. Because isocenter 
rig distance is more in lenac percentage dab dose is more percentage dab dose is directly related with ssd and uh, uh, in lenac more the ssd more is the percentage dab dose and when percentage dab dose is more deep seated tumor can be treated in a better way for cobalt 60 source size is 1.5 to 2 cm more the focal spot size more the penumbra while in case of lenac uh, size of the focal spot is small penumbra is very small it is directly proportional to the size of the uh, focal spot a small focal spot for precision therapy possible the precision is more when focal spot is small large fields can be treated as maximum field size on lenac is 40 by 40 centimeter while in cobalt 60 maximum field size is 35 by 35 centimeters this is a very big advantage no chances of accident dental exposure for example sometimes source is stuck in cobalt 60 it does not go back to a safe position such type of situation does not arise in lenac because there is no natural source or artificial source inside once we switch on the machine radiation starts coming out and as we switch off the machine radiation will stop electron therapy possible with lenac which is not possible in cobalt 60 lenac with mlc's can be used for conformal therapy that is leaves of mlc can be confirmed uh, confirmed to the desired shape of the tumor and this is a very big advantage of cobalt machine imrt can be delivered with dynamic movement of the leaves intensity modulated radiotherapy is possible with this which is not possible with cobalt 60 lenac are available with dual energy photons beam so energy can be selected as per uh, requirement since dose rate is high more patient can be treated in less time no need to change source in linear accelerator that is these are the advantage of linear accelerator over cobalt 60 machine thank you